The Allegheny County DA is speaking out after the weekend mass shootings. He says he has concerns about security in our area, especially since the Tree of Life massacre here less than a year ago. John Delano has the story. District Attorney Stephen Zapala knows exactly where the Dayton mass killing occurred. My son went to Dayton, so, you know, the Oregon District is a really nice place to go if you ever, you know, in that part of Ohio. Uh, we've been there several times, and uh, it's kind of unthinkable that somebody would come down there with an AR-15 with body, you know, with military type of garb and, and open up on innocent people. Zapala compared the nature of the crime in El Paso with that at Tree of Life a mass killer focused on the ethnicity, race, or religion of his victims. El Paso, it looks like a hate crime. Um, I don't know if the federal government will become involved now that they've lifted a moratorium on the uh, death penalty. Uh, we're ho by the way, we're hoping to <laughs> hear soon whether or not the federal government will pursue the death penalty in a case involving the tree of life since, uh, again, you know, since they lifted the moratorium. Zapala says his office has filed death penalty cases three times recently in cases involving multiple homicides, like Tree of Life, and would consider doing so in that case after consultation with the families affected if the feds do not. We have the complaint prepared, we're prepared to arraign the guy, and we're prepared to proceed and take care of business. Given the increase in hate crimes, I asked the district attorney whether he had concerns about our security in this region. Yeah, I do. I see a lot of uh, very uncivil types of uh, back and forth. Um, I think people have been pushed way left and pushed way right, and uh, they're having trouble finding common ground. Social media has amplified differences, and Zapala has taken hits on social media, first for bringing homicide charges against former police officer Michael Rosfeld, and then in not winning a guilty verdict against Rosfeld. People are passionate about the criminal justice system, and I'm symbolic, and you know, I get it, you know, but it's still an honor to be district attorney. John Delano, KDKA News.